Valerie, the International Observatory has just launched IOHR TV, which is quite a platform for an NGO for human rights, isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, for us, we really wanted to create a platform that was using social media, using TV as a way of changing the narrative and looking at the why behind the story. For us, we saw that this was a, the way of making mainstream media come to us. We can tell the story and we can really begin to develop it. And we've got the time using our social media, our web TV, our, our research and our events to really push a new message. What are you most proud of? Absolutely the team. I've got an incredible group of people. We've got researchers, we've got um, amazing journalists like yourself, award-winning. Um, we've got uh, collaboration groups that we work with. And then we've got just the amazing people that we're able to interview. Every week we're trying to tell a different story. It's about the forgotten and the oppressed. It's about the stories that are more than the three minute media slot that you normally get on mainstream TV. And I think with the observatory, we're able to, to really go beyond that. We use our research, we use our events, and we're going out there and we're getting a narrative. And it's a different narrative that we should be bringing to, to a new audience. And that's, that's the heart of IOHR. You seem to focus on incarcerated journalists. Is this because it's the unprecedented attack on freedom of expression worldwide? Absolutely, it's something that we should be really concerned about. There are 262 journalists locked up in Turkey at the moment. That's just wrong. And I think with IOHR, we really want to understand what's going on, what's the story behind that. We've done some fantastic primary research and we're working with um, some of the families uh, for the Kumaret trial who have been um, incarcerated. And we're going to an event in Paris. We're, we're trying to make that story actually people so that they can understand what's happening. So this is an attack. It's not just locking up an occasional journalist. It's 262 people who are being locked up unfairly and we're seeing unprecedented freedom of expression being, being attacked. Tell me about IOHR launching the hashtag Be A Refugee Sponsor campaign. What's all that about? Oh, it's a fantastic campaign. This is really looking at the, the new community sponsorship campaign in the UK, um, which is supporting Syrian refugees. So the hashtag Be A Refugee Sponsor is all about bringing together a lot of the community groups that are working in this area. So the Citizens UK, the Salvation Army, you've got Reset, lots of fantastic people doing on the ground work. And at IOHR, what we wanted to do is to use the power of IOHR TV, our events, and do some campaigns to really open up and sort of say, we should be getting businesses involved, schools involved. We should be opening it up for educationists, really making the groundswell that we see in Canada. So in Canada, they've had over 17,000 families have been through their scheme. Here, we've just started, it's all new. There's 55 families so far. And we've been um, interviewing them. We've been doing some primary research getting out, doing some research in Canada as well. And it's just such an exciting program. So hashtag Be A Refugee Sponsor is, is something that we're really behind at IOHR TV. At IOHR TV, we like to say we're putting human rights into focus. Tell me what that means. We live in a world of 24 hour news cycles and often the stories get lost and we, we see human rights being sidelined. All of a sudden there's a cat of a tree somewhere and it's headline news. So for us, we really want to make sure that human rights is in focus and stays in focus. And that's why we're putting TV, we're putting social media, we're, we're really going out and finding the stories that matter and we're spending time on them. It's important to not lose focus on human rights. So that's the whole core of what we do. Valerie, thank you. Been a pleasure.